Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Terry Van Alstein. I'm a naturopathic doctor and I know the body can heal itself when given the proper tools and I don't believe in symptomatic treatment. Today I'm going to show you how I make a vegetable stock to be able to make a delicious vegetable soup or any kind of soup. But first I wanted to mention again that I'm starting my next online core healing and detoxification program Monday, September 30th. Well, I'll be taking a small group step-by-step -step back to optimal health, optimal weight, and optimal energy by addressing the top eight causes of health and disease symptoms. This will help ensure that people reverse their health symptoms, lose weight and inches, and increase their energy exponentially and live a long, healthy life disease-free. Feeling amazing and looking amazing. Looking years younger and feeling years younger. My program works it's been proven thanks so much for watching tim elizabeth and patsy and uh, if you're interested dealing with a health issue or know someone that is please have them contact me through my website corehealing.ca and i'd love to be able to help so this is how i make a vegetable stock first of all i've collected vegetable cuttings all week in a bag in the fridge so every time i cut the ends off of carrots celery peel an onion, peel a garlic clove, or handfuls of them in my case. Uh, pretty much every vegetable goes except for the cruciferous vegetables. So you don't want to use anything in that family, which is broccoli, cauliflower, kale, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. They're all too strong when you reduce them. But all the other vegetable cuttings work great. And so I filled a pot of fil uh, with filtered water and I've put all my vegetable cuttings in it and a handful of bay leaves. I brought it to a boil and then took the lid off and reduced it down to about half. You can leave the lid on and reduce it as well. Uh, it just takes a little longer and now I'm going to strain it into another pot and use that as the base of a soup. And by doing that I don't need to saute the vegetables for the next soup. I can just throw all the vegetables in and I'm thinking of doing my favorite yam and almond butter. It's an African yam and bu almond butter soup. So delicious with garlic and ginger and cumin and curry and uh, great for this cool weather. So that's this is the way to make a delicious soup by starting with a great stock. You can do the same with a chicken stock and save your vegetable cuttings all week and add it to the chicken bones. You want to be using raw chicken bones, not cooked, uh, because the cooked ones don't make a very good stock. They've already been cooked. So when I start with a raw chicken and I always have a free range organic chicken, I cut the meat off of it and save the carcass, put it in the freezer, and then I'll take it out, throw it into a pot of filtered water, bring it to a boil, and um, reduce it in with the vegetable cuttings and the bay leaves. Bay leaves really add a lot of flavor to it. I also use stems of the herbs that I've used all week that I grow, you know, oregano, thyme, basil, etc., chives. And um, food is how we heal ourselves. One very important way of healing ourselves. Food is how people make themselves sick as well, by eating the wrong ones. So in my detox program, I talk about all the wrong foods and what to avoid and why. And it includes a detox kit with a heavy metal extractor, an immune antiviral product that kills bacteria and viruses, which we're all full of, and a detox powder, a general detox powder. And this all goes into a detox smoothie. And there's a menu plan, there's a recipe book, uh, I give all kinds of support, both one-on-one -on -one and group. There's lectures that I've recorded, uh, webinars and videos of all aspects of the detox program. So I've made it as comprehensive as I possibly can. And uh, I really want people to get results and heal. And, you know, in most cases, people don't have to suffer. And they don't have to die younger than they should. And they don't have to end up in a old age home <laughs> on 20 meds and as a zombie for their last few years of life. It's so sad eating absolute garbage. <laughs> so we don't, we don't have to live that, like that. And we can live longer than 100 years. 
You know, there are places in the world, there's a place in Russia where people live to, on average, 130 years, disease-free. And these people work in the tea fields and eat a primarily vegetarian diet. There's a little bit of meat, but it's mostly vegetarian. They walk about 20 miles a day. They do physical labor. And in that society, it's normal and expected to live a long, healthy life. It's, they're revered, you know, they are given awards for living a long life. So unfortunately, our society uh, is the opposite, but we can change that. And more, more and more people will be living longer and longer. And let's do it in our own homes where we can control what we're eating and ensure that we're eating the healthiest foods and feeling the best that we can and not be, you know, a prisoner in an old age home. So again, my website is corehealing.ca. I practice uh, downtown in Yaletown, Vancouver at um, White Orchid. I'm in North Vancouver at Vital Synergy and Unwind Clinic in Squamish. Thanks so much for watching.